Well, hello guys. Please let me first put a disclaimer. I'm not trying to promote the game because I honestly think it's in a really poor state right now. Um, but it is somewhat playable and I find it moderately fun to play around with. Just, you know, to when I have nothing else to do. Um, but I also noticed a lot of people having trouble with making the mods work and they say, oh, the game is crashing and all that. And I think I finally figured out how, at least on PC, to make the game work. And currently running 120 mods, uh, 110 mods from uh, the Paradox um, store. So let's just try and, and start up the game and I'll show you how to react and handle what is going on. Because I bet you this is more or less what some of you are seeing. So we're going to fire up the game. And let's see if I can get it to record it actually starting out. Uh, let's just wait a second here. Okay, yeah, here it comes. So you can basically just click through this, you click through this, you click through this. Stop touching the mouse, stop touching the keyboard, just sit back. Pick up your phone, look at some stupid reels or memes or whatever. Wait. The game is not crashed, it's not hanging, it's loading, like literally loading. And this is the case when you've got a lot of mods. Or your PC is, may, might be struggling a little bit. Give it time. Of course, I'm not telling you to wait 10, 15 minutes. My game usually starts up in around one minute max. And then it takes a little bit longer to actually pre-render the shaders and all that. Let's see, it's still not hanging, it's still not crashed. I think it's sometimes because we become so conditioned to games just... They're supposed to start up in the blitz of a, of a click. That's not the case with City Skylines 2. It's very unoptimized, so we'll just keep waiting here. Let's see what happens. So how are you liking the game so far? I mean, we're pretty far in now and I have to admit, I'm starting to look back and see if I should play CS1 instead. Um, there's still some mechanics in this game and that I feel like I messed up and you know, something like, why, why aren't there any people on bikes? Why is the water physics so messed up? Yeah, just little annoyances. But you can see now the, the mods are loading in. And virtual texturing, important to get that done, finally done. And then we're gonna load all this. That also kind of bugs me that why... Why does it take so long to load this stuff? But now it's actually done. So we're going to go into Paradox Mods now. And I want to show you what else matters here. So first of all, I want you to stop trying to install mods that are not supported by the current version. If you're doing that, I'm sorry, you're stupid. Um, just don't do that. Okay, so also another thing that matters is you can see I have 160 mods here going right now. What matters is load order. It's not uh, unimportant how you arrange these mods on the list. It actually matters a great deal. So basically what I've done is I've put all the code mods at first. Things that change the game's code. Like lane, water, move it, find it. All these asset pacman traffic, better bulldozer, all that stuff. Make sure to load in those first. Also, dependencies should come higher up than the mod, depending on them. Uh, and how do I explain that? Well, Anarchy has some dependencies, you know, additional mods that it needs to operate perfectly those mods should come above or before Anarchy in the list. And that's true for everything. So even if we go down here and some of these ploppables, they require, for example, the German pack here. If you want static ploppables 3 German pack, you need to load the German pack first. Otherwise, you're going to get error messages. So if you were guilty of the same thing as I was, I was just browsing and just installing away, clicking away, all that BS. I'm not surprised if you're getting errors. 
that's the exact reason why you're getting errors because you didn't consider the loader order. So, that being said, if you already did so, there are tons of threads out there. If you Google how to find the folders containing the mods um, and caches and all that in the what's it called app data on PC, app data folder and colossal order and then uh, you know so forth. Um, and also, you need to sign up for the Paradox Mods website. So one thing is, you might delete the mods from the folder on your PC, but since you also have um, an account or a profile linked to Paradox Mods website, that place is storing, is, that's cloud storing your load or your, your mods that you chose to uh, sign up on or subscribe to. So even if you deleted the folder, the cloud storage will override it and say, no, no, you need this one. And then you're going to get the same errors. So basically, make sure you also clear Paradox mods on the website, or at least uh, delete the, the mods that are causing the problems that are giving you issues. And also delete the folders on your PC. Then you start focusing on putting the load order up here. And let me tell you what, let me just scroll through here and then you can try and copy my load order because it's working. Um, so yeah, let's go through it here. I'm just going to take this one off and you can kind of see here. And of course, it's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of gigabytes here, which you know, your web, uh, your internet speed also affects how fast the game loads because some of these needs to be loaded or streamed, I think. So yeah, that could also be playing um, some influence on you. So at this point where it's, you know, maps and plubbables and decals and all that, uh, it doesn't really matter if, again, unless there's the, there are dependencies, they need to come first. So if a boat pack needs multi-purple slabs, put the slabs first. Uh, unfortunately, currently the game, I can't make the decals weak work. Uh, you know, like doors and stuff like that. They won't stick to walls, they won't stick to the ground. So, I mean, it's kind of erroneous that I have some of them because you, I can't really use them. The graphics get all twisted and, and, you know, stretched. It looks horrible, which is a bit of a downer because they matter quite a lot in terms of the experience of the game, in my, in my opinion. So, yeah. So, how do we sum this up? Um, clean up your profile on the website, clean up your folders, remove the folders that are doing issues, stop subscribing to mods that the mod uh, page says uh, out of date or not compatible. I'm sorry if you like it, I don't care. If you sign up anyways and you get issues, that's your own problem. Uh, I'm just trying to show you the direction here. Actually, I'm gonna need to remove this one because that map for some reason is is really weird. Um, yeah, we're kind of full through it. So yeah, I hope you found that useful. And yeah, it was a bit of a long video, but I also wanted to make sure you understand why. It's not just about doing this, do this, do this, and do that. You also need to understand why, because next time there's going to be a new mod, you're going to do the same stuff over again if you don't know what, what's happening. So yeah, thanks for coming by guys, and take care. Enjoy, try to enjoy the game. I know it's hard right now, but yeah. I love seeing what you other guys are building. It's very inspiring. So yeah, take care. Bye.